Welcome to Dark Souls 3. I am so excited to play this game, so let's just jump right into it. Yes, indeed. It is called Lothric, where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. The fire fades, and the lords go without thrones. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and name and customize my character and choose my class and everything, and I'll be right back. I'd like to introduce you to Alima. She's a super strong, muscled assassin who uses her massive muscles to poke her enemies full of so many holes that even a colander would be impressed. I went with an assassin class because I like character builds that focus on dodging enemies, and I also want a weapon that's long enough that I can actually keep my distance from an enemy. Which, her weapon is perfect for that. It's super long. Plus, I just really like the pokey pokey action of that weapon. It's really fun. And as for the burial gift, uh, I took a look at the burial gifts, and most of them seem like pretty temporary kind of boosts. So I decided to go with the young white branch, because it sounds kind of mysterious. As it says, a uh, branch of a young white birch, perhaps an offering of peace, can be used to blend into environment, but only once. That, of course, also sounds temporary, but... I've got a feeling, like, I feel like that was maybe in Dark Souls 2, and that it actually was used to unlock areas or something, uh, I can't quite remember. There's some sort of a tree branch thing. Anyway, I'm, I'm hoping that this item, while probably useless in the beginning, might lead to something cool later on. So let's go with that. Alright, let's begin.
our journey has begun. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is unequip my shield. Whoops. There we go. And the reason for that is because if I leave my shield equipped, the game is going to crash when I get to the first bonfire. Uh, don't ask, it's a widespread issue. <laughs> There's many fixes for it, and all of the fixes are very strange, such as wearing a helmet that covers your entire head. That also apparently kind of fixes it. Anyway, I usually play a character that doesn't use shields, so unequipping my shield is no big deal. So yeah, I have um, basically no experience in Dark Souls 3. I'm coming into this almost entirely blind. I haven't watched any Let's Plays or live streams or anything aside from the trailer for the game, and a couple reviews. I have, however, played the beginning section of this game just to get used to the controls, so that I don't completely suck in the beginning. So I kind of know the beginning area, but aside from that, I'm going into, the, going into this 99% blind. And oh, by the way, all these messages on the ground are just tutorial messages, so no need to read them. Alright, come here. Oh my god, that was so difficult. Whew, what a fight. First boss down. Don't worry, the enemies will get a lot harder very soon. Let's do something fancy. Let's do this. Pretty cool, huh? That's one of the new things in Dark Souls 3. Every weapon has a special ability. Which, if you use it, takes up basically your mana bar. So spells and your weapons can both actually share the same mana bar. So the blue bar up there, if I use my special ability, you see it goes down. Yep. One of the new things in Dark Souls 3. And every weapon has a different special ability. Ashen Estus Flask, which is to restore the mana bar. So you've got two types of flasks. This poor soul is used to demonstrate the backstabbing mechanic in this game. But I noticed something really sad about this person. They're crying. You backstab someone who's crying. To make it even more sad... Oh, that's very rude. To make it even more sad, they won't even attack you. Like, even if you just run around, they, they don't care. They're just busy crying. So you know what? I'm not going to murder them. Because that's rude. I'm going to murder you, though. I mean, self-defend you. I mean, self-defend me? What? I don't think there's anything around here. I think it's just tutorial messages, right? Yeah. Telling me how to parry and... Riposte. I don't think that's how you're supposed to pronounce that. Bad idea. <laughs> oh my god. Gotta get used to the range of this weapon. Just poking the air. Alright, so off this way, there is... something. The tutorial message says turn back. Which <laughs> just makes me laugh. The game itself is telling you, don't go here. Oh, but I want to go there so bad. There's a boss there. But uh, let's get to the first bonfire first. Can I praise the sun? Or do you have to learn that gesture? I guess you have to learn it. Does it even exist in this game? <gasps> I wonder. It probably doesn't. Or maybe it does. I'll jump for joy. Yay, sunlight! Yeah, so this is the point where the game would crash if I had my shield equipped. Please, dear god, don't crash. Ah. <sighs> Cemetery of Ash. Okay, should we go back there and fight a boss? Let's do it. 
Oh yeah, actually, let's take in the take in the view first. So look at where I'm at. The the scale of this place is really incredible. Look at that. And I bet I'm gonna actually get to go up there at some point. I'm in, like, the, the bowels of this castle or something. Or actually below the castle, I think. I don't even think I'm inside of it. I'm in, like, the sewers beneath it down here. Whatever this place is. Let's get a backstab in. Oh, dang it. Went too far to the side. Alright, I've fought this boss many times when I was just practicing the game, but I never actually defeated them. So let's see if I can do it this time. Hello, Ice Crystal Lizard. Bring it on. How did I not get hit there? Oh my god. doing really good. Better than I think I've ever done before. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So close. Yes, roll. That's good. Oh no. Crap, I didn't think the tail would hit me. Thought I could get close. Come on. I want them to roll again, because that's the safest move. Wait, maybe this is it? Yes! Oh. Titanite scale. Titanite scale. Isn't that for, like, upgrading weapons or armor? Wait a minute. Wait! Oh my god! I just realized what that is. You know those blue... I don't know what they're called. The blue... The little tiny blue creatures that try to run away from you in the previous Dark Souls? They're completely harmless, all they do is run away, and you have to kill them fast enough to get the Titanite shards. And if you don't, then they just disappear. Is that one of those things all grown up? I mean, it is a lizard, and it's also full of, like, blue crystals. Except it's massive and tries to kill you. I think it's one of those things all grown up. Does that mean I was killing the babies before? Oh no. <laughs> That's so clever, though. Oh my god. I only realized what that was after I killed it, that- oh. I love you, Dark Souls. Ooh, 4,000 souls. I think I can level up. Right, you can't actually level up at this bonfire. I guess that happens later. Why is that person green? 
Oh. <laughs> it was in the character creator, right? They probably turned themselves into a goblin. People love to do that. Let's see if I can get a plunging attack on this person. Oh, nope. Oh my god, I'm terrible. Oh my god, come on! I really need to get the range down on this weapon. I keep stabbing the air. Oh my god! No! You are not going to defeat me. Alright, let's do this. Overkill? But it's fine. I'm probably still used to Halby from Dark Souls 2. I'm not using a halberd. I'm not using a halberd. Gotta get used to this thing. It's a little bit shorter. Come on, shoot another one. Oh my god, I actually got that move. I'm only like 10% consistent with it. It's a jump attack thing. Oh my god. I didn't look at my health bar. It's fine. More souls for me. So long as I don't die on the way back there. Let's not die. Ah, okay, I'm good. Okay, I think I've actually got like 20 enemies after me. Run! Yeah, the one... The one major bad thing about a stabby weapon like this is that it's very bad against crowds of enemies. Since it is a stabbing motion, it doesn't really hit multiple enemies at the same time. Maybe I could if I used a strong attack like this. Possibly, that would hit multiple. But in general, it really doesn't. Much worse than a halberd when it comes to crowd control. <laughs> Backstab two in a row. Alright, I think there's this little item over here. Yeah, right after the tutorial on how to jump, there's actually a place that if you want the item, you have to jump to it. Oh, next time. Also, the return of the Dark Souls ragdolls. They're so fun! Aww. Come on, really? Maybe I should jump from here. Okay. Titanite shard. Yeah, so uh, what is it that I got from the lizard thing? It wasn't a titanite shard, it was like a titanite... Some, something bigger. Titanite scale. Reinforced soul transposed weapon to plus four. I have no idea what that means. So a normal, like, lesser shard, like a, a less rare Titanite thing, reinforces a weapon to plus three. This reinforces a soul transposed weapon to plus four. I have no idea what a soul transposed weapon is. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Anyway, we have a boss to fight. Is 
So yeah, I need to defeat this boss to go through those doors. And I'm hoping on the other side of those doors is somewhere that I can maybe actually level up and, like, find the, the game hub. Because I don't think I've gotten to the game hub yet. I really do love the sense of scale. Snow-capped mountains down there. Foggy area. Kind of shrouding the legs of this truly massive castle. It's weird, it looks like the castle is like almost a part of the rock. Almost a part of the stone. Or, hmm. Could it be that the castle was carved out of the rock? Rather than built, it was carved out? Could that be? A de like a... What'd you call it? A deductive process instead of a... No, a... What'd you call that? Like, instead of a constructive process, it was a destructive process? Yeah. It might be. Alright, this creature is creepy. Look at that weird growth on its back. It'll get creepier, trust me. Let's get some free hits in. Too early. Well, this is not going well. Can I get a backstab? Oh, no. Come on, let me backstab you. You gotta be able to backstab him, right? Okay, <laughs> this is where it gets bigger. I have no idea how to fight it from this point on, okay. I don't even know where its body parts are going. It's just a flailing mass of nightmarish goop. Jesus Christ, I don't even know what hit me. Nightmare spawn. Yeah, I wonder if I actually can backstab it. Most likely I can. I'm just gonna run past these enemies. They're not worth fighting. Well, I'll kill this one for fun. Oh, I missed. Ow. Ow. Quickly. Failing in his general direction ineffectually. Whoa! Got hit on the rebound on that one, but it barely did any damage. Backstab? Can you not backstab him? I was totally behind him. I wouldn't be surprised if they're less permissive on the uh, range of the backstab when you're fighting bosses. I shouldn't say range, I mean angle. Like, maybe you need to be directly behind them, within like five degrees or something. 
I think it has three different attack points. It's got like a mouth thing and then like an arm thing and then a, a something thing. My instinct is to get far away from it because it's terrifying, but maybe I need to stay close to it. I'm gonna try that. Souls are on the other side, no. Oh my god. <laughs> Give me some time to breathe. Now that I think about it, it probably doesn't give me any time to breathe because it's just it just doesn't understand. It doesn't need to breathe itself. It's it's probably undead. It's probably not trying to be disrespectful. It just doesn't get human problems. Nice. I jumped, so I took full damage, and then I got stabbed. You're gonna jump at me, aren't you? Face really did any damage, but that was very rude. Ooh, miracle! I didn't get hit there. I totally misjudged my timing. Oh wait, I need to run. What, what am I doing? I don't know why I got close there. I forgot the initial attack is crazy. Okay, stay close. Stay close. I don't know what it's doing. This is working so far. What does it do? Okay. I'm gonna drink. Just, I feel like I'm gonna get lots of damage really quickly. Okay. Yes! Yeah! Air of fire destroyed. Coiled sword. Ember restored. I don't know what that means. Sounds good. I'm all Bernie. Oh, hey. 
So yeah, it looks like the good strategy there was to actually go against your your natural instinct of running away and keeping your distance and actually stay close. It's actually far, far better to stay close. Kind of just run around in a circle. Dodge occasionally. Is that person fighting without clothes on? I think they're playing as the deprived starting class, which I think starts with like almost nothing. No equipment. Daring. <laughs> it's funny to watch the shades fight. Poor souls. So, can I level up here? Or... no. Ah, let's savor the view. Savor my embryoness. a bell tower, isn't it? I think that's a bell at the top. I can't quite tell. So there's a pathway over there, up to the bell tower. I'm gonna make sure I tirelessly search around for any hidden areas. Because I know there are often hidden areas. In fact, is that a hidden area right there? I don't know if that's a bit of weird geometry, or if that's a hole I could jump down into, but I see, like... It... I think that might be an area you can jump down to. I'm gonna check that out in a second. Oh, I should probably check out the new weapon I got. Telling me how to open the menu. <laughs> Thanks, I'm good. I guess I'm not over the tutorial yet. Mm, little pathway over there, so there's a pathway down there. Pathway up there. Possibly a hidden pathway. Okay. With all that in mind, let's take a look at the weapon. Hmm. Wait, where is it? It's not a broken straight sword. That's what I just picked up. Is it not equipable? What is it? Is it somewhere in here? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a key! Thrust enshrine bonfire to activate bonfire warp. Oh! I guess I haven't gotten to the shrine bonfire yet, but I'm guessing that's going to allow me to warp back to... this area? I guess so. Okay. Let's see if this is indeed a thing. I feel like this is a thing. Hmm, maybe it's not a thing. Couple more tries. Okay, I don't think it's a thing. It's awfully suspicious though, isn't it? I don't know. Alright, whatever. Enemy ahead. Thanks. Yeah, this is one of the other special moves, by the way. This... this thing. There's, a, like, a lunging attack, and then there's this. Neither of which I can do very reliably.
Homeward Bone. I think that allows me to go to the last bonfire I rested at while keeping my souls. Because I have a dark sign thing which allows me to return to the last bonfire I rested out, but I rested at, but I lose my souls. I think that's the good version of it. Yeah, lose souls and return to bonfire. That's what I already have. Homeward Bone, return to last bonfire I rested at, or to shrine. Yeah, so you get to keep your souls. That's the, I'm in too deep, I want to keep my souls, get me out of here, please. You look like you're just waiting to be pushed off the ledge. Unfortunately, I don't know how to kick. <laughs> nice. Coal required ahead. What? Coal. What does that mean? I'm kind of just sad for them. There's no reason to kill them. I'm just going to leave them. These people die by falling off. Uh, did that play? I didn't see him. Where's the person? I touched the stain, but nothing happened. Now oh, look at that. Looks like, almost looks like you can go up there. And look at that tree, look at the roots coming out of it. Hmm. What if there is a way up there? I really need to get used to the range of this thing. Come on! Gotta look for areas you can drop down to. You never know where there might be a secret. Ooh, there's so many pathways. Inside, off to the side. Someone died trying to climb the tree. Shield. Also enemy. Unfortunately, if I equip the shield, the game might crash. I'm not going to risk it. Not until they patch that. What does that say? Fine work? <laughs> um, upvote is... that? Applaud this message, yes. Rated good. High quality message. I mean, come on, I gotta give an upvote to anybody who praises me, right? I wonder if invisible walls have made a return. Or like illusory walls. Ember. What does that do? 
Gain strength of flame, boosting HP until death. Okay, so it's a temporary buff. It's pretty good, though. Until death. That could last for a very long time if you, well, if you don't die. I'm just going to avoid going inside the way that I think you're supposed to go. It's always more fun to go off the beaten path. I mean, look at this. I'm finding so many bones. Also, oh, look over there. Whoa, what? Oh, I think I just hit a trigger that's meant to be inside. Whoops. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Uh, but yeah, look at that. Look at the creature in the tree, or it looks like it is the tree. I remember those from Dark Souls 2. I don't remember what they're called, though. Oh. Fuck me. Am I stuck? Are you serious? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, thank God. Stab you, please. Please don't turn around. Can't backstab a dog. Okay. I guess because dogs' backs are vertically oriented instead of horizontally oriented. That's probably why. Okay, I think that's all the pathways up here. So yeah, if you go to the right, it goes to a dead end. Go to the left. Um, I don't know if I kept going on the left, but it looks like there's a shrine inside, so let's... Oh. Ooh. That looks serious. Hold on. I actually want to keep exploring around the side. I want to save that for last. Even if I lose all my souls, I'm trying to do it. Yeah, so this way I have not been... Try rolling below. Below? Like roll off somewhere? What are you talking about? I don't get it. Uh-oh. What are you? Mmm. Mmm. Get away from me. Nope. 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 I think you're super strong. You're probably super strong. They're usually super strong. Those, like, player character... Uh, what would you call them? Player character... They're, like, AI-controlled player characters, basically. They're usually, they're usually really, really good. My god. Hello? It's the person that was in the intro cinematic, I think. And I think that's the Firelink Shrine that I need to light. And there's someone down there. Let's talk to these people. Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. I am a firekeeper. I tend to the flame, and tend to thee. The lords have left their thrones, and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. Ashen one, to be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. I will show thee how. Ashen One, 
Bring me souls plucked from their vessels. Ashen one, to be sovereign. I'm Ashen. Guess that's all she has to say. I'm Farewell, going Ashen to level one. up soon. May the flames guide thee. But not just yet. Oh my god. Undead bone shard, spells, organized storage box. Travel? So where does this allow me to travel? I guess to any of the bonfires. Wait, where's this? High wall of Lothric. I haven't been there, have I? No. So it looks like by default I can go somewhere I've never been to before. Maybe that's the next area. Undead Bone Shard. I think that gives me another flask or something. Oh, right, but I don't have any. So I guess it's got a similar system to Dark Souls 2, and I think Dark Souls 1 had a similar system where you find, like, shards. And they allow you to get more flasks. So you don't just level up your character, but you also level up the max amount of healing items you can have at one time. Although I've heard that in Dark Souls 3, it's not just flasks for healing. Uh, because you know how there's there's the Ashen flask for your, your mana bar, and then there's the Estus flask for health? I've heard that you can actually change the ratio between them. So you can, you can like, I think, convert all of your Ashen flasks to health flasks or all of your health flasks to ashen or some combination thereof so you can tweak how much you want to focus on like having mana to do more damage or how much you want to focus on having healing to be able to soak up more attacks i've heard you can do that not sure how but that should be interesting also that blacksmith in there isn't that the blacksmith from dark souls one it looks awfully familiar i recognize the shirtlessness and the white hair Heck, they might have even been in Dark Souls too. I don't remember. Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. And it have us seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. Not fit to lick their boots. We'll see. Don't you think? <laughs> NPCs and Dark Souls are always so creepy and sad. Did I just gain... I think I just gained a gesture. Didn't I? Let's try it. So there's point down. Can I? Re yeah, I can replace it with other things. Collapse is what I just gained. <laughs> Great, now I can pretend to be completely without hope. Just full of despair. Just like you. I learned from the best. Thank you for teaching me. There are so many places to go. Oh my god, I don't even know where to start. Let's see if I can talk to that... person? Up on the throne? I'm not sure if that's a person or a creature. But you know what? Let's save that for the next episode. So yeah, here we are. We are at the hub area of Dark Souls 3. Basically the beginning. I think this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I cannot wait to be back soon.